And Hate Story 3 is a 2020 Bollywood erotic drama thriller film directed by Vishal Pandya and stars Sharman Joshi, Karan Singh Grover, Zareen Khan and Daisy Shah in the lead roles and Pian Shu Chatterjee in a pivotal role. So I watched Hate Story 3 today and I watched it on Disney Plus Hotstar so the quality was a bit bad but after watching it on Disney Plus Hotstar I came up there was a bit of confusion for me wherein the runtime of the movie when I searched Google was two hours and six minutes or something like that. When I hit play on Disney Plus Hotstar, it's showing me one hour and 53 minutes. I was wondering why is it so less in the Hotstar version as compared to the original? And then while I was watching the movie, that's when I realized all the sexual scenes have been cut off. It just made my viewing experience a whole lot better. Just imagine going to a theater with such movie. I really don't know how you could ever watch such things in a theater with a hall full of people watching two bodies rub against each other on, tel on the big screen. I'm never watching such movies on uh, theaters and because it's the comfort of my own home and I already did one of them, I was kind of expecting this one to be as equally or worse then uh, hate story 4 if you haven't noticed my channel started with that one and in my previous video i did a random spin in which i would do a franchise i it landed on hate story and i don't know why i had to go through with this but i am going to finish it now hate story 3 wasn't as bad as what i thought it would be don't get me wrong it is a bad movie but it's bad in a very different way the point is that all these actors, most of them are very desperate to get this movie. If you haven't noticed, Sharman Joshi and Daisy Shah are two of the most desperate people to ever get this movie. And because this movie was a financial success, they reap some of the benefits. Why means uh, after Three Idiots, Sharman Joshi never really had any memorable roles or any popular films. And same with Daisy Shah. After her only Hindi performance at the time was Jai Ho and Salman Khan actually insisted uh, that she talk to the producers and let her be in this movie. It's very evident though because <sighs> it's a really bad movie but I'll tell you why. The entire thing feels like I'm watching a TV serial. The performances are that bad. Every dialogue in this movie is so amateurish. I don't know who, why he was paid to write such dialogues. The songs were fine. The songs are the one thing which I felt like was okay. Karan Singh Grover as the antagonist in this movie. He was the best thing in this movie by far. He is the only entertaining aspect in this movie. Otherwise, the whole movie would have been a big bore. Especially in the beginning scenes, the dialogue was so awful. I felt like, why? And I just pushed through it. The first song in the movie is the remake of the Sadak uh, song that Tumi Apanab and I was expecting this remake to be somewhat exactly the same just with different visuals but they did do some remixing and I still don't approve of it. I much rather watch the Sanjay Dutt version but their songs were okay. And this happens to be Zareen Khan's first glamorous role. Uh, man, did she go downhill. Even she was also, you know, launched by Salman Khan. I don't know what happened, but her role in this movie is tame compared to the one she's doing after. The lack of sexual scenes in the Hotstar streaming site was much more than a blessing for me. I just didn't want all that uncomfortability in the when I was watching this computer screen, especially when my parents are in the other room. So that was a blessing to me. I'm going to give it an extra point for that. Thank you, Hotstar. You're finally doing something right. Just please don't do it for all the movies. Sharman Joshi is especially bad in this movie. I don't know what happened. He is such a capable actor, but he acts like a 10 year old sometimes. And the way he showcases anger, it's, I felt like laughing most of the time when whenever he has to show rage and uh, 
like throwing stuff off the table or all those kinds of stuff. Basically, whenever he has to show rage, it's like the most comedic thing in the movie. And I don't think it was even intentional. It was, it's supposed to be a serious moment where he's angry at Karan Singh Grover for ruining his life. But whenever he does it, it's so funny. <laughs> and uh, Zarin Khan's dialogue to calm him down, <laughs> the whole thing was me laughing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> There is a scene in the movie where after Karan Singh Grover gets what he wants, he just turn, shows her shows his back to Zarin Khan and she gets this big revelation that uh, because her husband had that tattoo, he's also the he's also having that tattoo. So they both must be the same person. They somehow try to involve plastic surgery into this, and oh my god, the the path this movie takes. There, there are some unintentionally funny moments like this and the way every the way this game is played is like the most mediocre level and the climax basically makes the entire movie pointless it's just the bad people die so this is the second time i'm asking this question why is this called a hate story when there Movie revolves around revenge. This should be called Revenge Story 3 in my standards. And Hate Story 4 should be called Revenge Story 4. I really don't know why it's called a hate story. And it's not hatred that's fueling this revenge either. It's anger, mostly. This one was a bit different. Here it was a guy getting a revenge. Uh, anyways. And the ending of the movie. <sighs> I've seen Hate Story 4, so I pretty much guessed it. It's exactly what you thought will happen. It happened. And the overall experience, I was expecting to be furious after watching this movie, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just came out laughing by the end of it. And so that's why I'm giving Hate Story 3 a 4 out of 10. It's... <laughs> It is an underwhelming movie, but my God, after watching this, watch it in Hotstar, uh, you know, it cuts off all the sex scenes. It it doesn't give like a strong cut. It, it's There's a fade out effect. It, it makes you think like, oh, it doesn't even exist there. So I recommend you watch it in the Hotstar, even though the quality is very bad. I put it in the high quality and I could still see pixels. I hate hot star quality, but I do recommend you watch it there and so that you will miss out on the sex scenes. And that actually raised my experience a little bit because it was, I thought of it as an unintentional comedy. And since the point of a movie is to give you entertainment, I did get entertainment out of it, even though it wasn't the kind of entertainment that the director hoped, I guess. <sighs> It's available on Disney Plus Hotstar, and I do recommend you watch this one. It's multitudes better than four, and since I haven't seen the previous two, I say this is the best face story I've seen so far, but it's still a bad movie, so just go in there to just waste your time. <laughs> And that's all for my review of Hate Story 3. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm pretty sure this wasn't the kind of reaction you expected from me for a hate story movie but um yeah if you like this video please hit that like button share this video with your friends hit that subscribe button too and hit that bell icon so that you'll be notified of my videos <laughs> i'll see you in the next video which will be hate story 2 obviously i don't know where i'm gonna find it but rest assured i'll watch it bye